Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is by faith only. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Romans chapter 3 and verse 30. There is only one God and he makes people right with himself only by faith, whether they are Jews or Gentiles. At the end of last week, I brought a message imploring anyone who hadn't to consider surrendering their lives to God. Today, I'm led to bring yet another of such messages. The Bible tells us a few things in our anchor scripture. First, that there is only one God. Fact. Second, that this God makes people right with himself by one way and one way only. This way is by faith. My dear listeners, I present to you the gospel. That humankind sinned and became disconnected from the God that created them. Now in the spiritual realm, the penalty for sin is death. So death became the portion of all human beings. By death, I do not only mean physical cessation of life on the earth. I mean a permanent everlasting separation from the creator God. Every human born into the earth is born with a death sentence caused by sin. Now God propelled by love, set in motion a law of substitution by which Jesus took the place of every human being, suffered and died to fulfill the penalty for sin, and then rose again as Lord and Christ. Jesus paid the penalty for your sin. Now all you need to do is to draw from the payment Jesus has made, and you draw from it by faith. Track back to our anchor scripture. God makes people right with him only by faith. Your good works were not good enough to pay the penalty for sin. Your charitable deeds were not good enough to bring reconciliation between you and God. Only the blood of Jesus was good enough. And now God is asking that to honor that sacrifice, all you need to do is to believe in what Jesus has done. The Bible says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You may have heard the message last week and decided to think about things a bit more. Or you may be hearing this message for the first time. It doesn't really matter. All that matters is that God is calling you to take up this offer of life. Be born again. Receive by faith the new life that Jesus died to give you and begin an adventure that will guarantee you life, life eternal. If you would like to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please say this prayer with me and reach out to me or the team afterward so that we can guide you on how to stay on this beautiful course. Dear Lord, I admit that I am a sinner. I was born with the very nature of sin and I have often done things that do not measure up to your standard. I am sorry and I repent. I ask you to please forgive me. I believe that you died on the cross for me to save me. You did what I could not do for myself. I come to you now and ask that you take control of my life. I give it to you. From this day forward, help me to live every day for you and in a way that pleases you. I love you, Lord. And I thank you because I know now that I will spend all eternity with you in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed or if you prayed that prayer, please reach out to me privately on any of our social media platforms. Or you could drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.